Number three, don't be deceived by the size of your Goliath. You might be confronting a problem that looks so big that you are afraid. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 4 to 7, it describes Goliath. It said Goliath was nine feet tall. I have never seen a man that was alive that is nine feet tall. But that was how tall, how big Goliath was. A warrior from his birth, heavily kitted. The Bible said when they saw him, they ran. They, they didn't even bother to confront him, they ran. I don't know what young Goliath may be at this point. But it's such that you are wondering, I say, can there ever be a way out? The answer is yes. God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. But be careful that you are not focusing too much on the size of the problem. Don't talk too much about how big your problem is. Focus on how powerful your God is. Because what you focus on will determine your future. If you focus on your problem, it will lead you astray. In Numbers chapter 13, verse 31 to 33. Numbers 13, verse 31 to 33. God sent people to go and look at the promised land. He said, I have for you a land flowing with milk and honey. A great land that I'm preparing for you. Go and check it out. He sent 12 people. Ten of them came back and said, no, we are not going. We can't make it. We saw the people there. They are strong. They are mighty. We are like grasshoppers in our eyes. They were afraid of the battle ahead. They looked at the problem instead of looking at God. The two that chose to look at God instead of the problem, Joshua and Caleb, they made it. To the promised land. Those who looked at the problem never did. I pray for you from the bottom of my heart that because of today, because of this summer, whatever may be that challenge in your life, you will focus more on the power of God and less on your problem in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that says is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the Almighty is bigger than your challenge.